Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. Uh, first off, I'd just like to say sorry if the video quality or the audio quality is a little messed up. I'm experimenting with the new uh, recording software called Playclaw, I believe it is. Yes, Playclaw. I used to use Fraps, but Fraps lags a lot, and this one is much better. I'm getting 100 frames per second right now, which is really smooth, and it's, it's really great. Um, so, a few, or a bit, about a week back, I made a... Uh, made a compact double piston extender that was horizontal, or not horizontal, vertical. Um, but today I have a horizontal one that's really compact as well. It's only 3 by 4 by 1. So that's really, really compact and it works really well. I'll show you here. So it, ex that <laughs> it extends and then retracts, which is really nice. And what's awesome about this one it is it's also like tileable, stackable, tileable, I don't know what the word is. And my phone's going off, sorry about that. So. I can put them next to each other and I can press the button and they'll all go. Unfortunately there's a little bit of lag between each one. That's only because the redstone has to go through each and every one before it actually makes it to the end. And uh, yeah, so that's really nice. It's really compact. That's what I like about it. Um, and it's tileable. So to make this, I didn't actually make a chest this time. I actually forgot. I'm sorry. I, I realized as soon as I started I'm like, eh, I'm not going to. But it's not very much. You literally need four pieces of any block and then uh, your pushable block that you're going to be using. Two pieces of redstone and two repeaters. Um, that's about it. And then as well as a uh, lever or button. Now, something you should know about the lever button is you can't put it here. It won't work if you put it there. You have to put it under here for it to work because you, you need power going to this, that block that I just destroyed. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you can put it here. You can put a lever here. Here, oop, now I can't. Here, here, here. So yeah, that all works, but not not on top here. So let me show you how to build it over here. It's really simple, very very simple. So let's do this. One block here, one block there, one block there, and one block there. And then your pushable block. I'll just use that block. Actually, I'm gonna. Oops, not what I wanted to do. I'm already screwing up. Uh, then you want, yeah, you want two, <laughs> you want two pistons like that and then your block I'll just use this I guess for now and you want a repeater here with two ticks well three technically uh, and then facing the other way over here with another two ticks a piece of redstone here and a piece of redstone here and then uh, wherever you would want to put your button or lever or pressure plate or whatever so I'll just put it there and you can see it extracts the tracks so that is my extremely compact horizontal double piston extender. Uh, again, I'm not entirely sure how this is useful because you could just have a simple one push, but I, I don't know. I really don't know. It's just I like building stuff. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video and uh, you guys stay classy now.